Lovely birds. Today we're going to be making some puppets for Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You can carefully cut out your puppets by yourself or you can ask your mommies and daddies to help you. We're going to use these pieces of paper, some crayons, some popsicle sticks, and you can either use glue or some tape. I'm going to use tape today. First, we can start by coloring our puppets. I'm going to start by coloring Goldilocks. In the story, Goldilocks has what color hair? That's right, gold or yellow. So I'm going to give her some yellow hair. I think I'm also going to give her a pink dress because I love wearing the color pink. I think it is very beautiful. And I'll give her some green shoes because we know Miss Tinsley loves the color green. Next, I'm going to color the smallest bear. Which bear do you think is the smallest? Daddy bear? No. Is mommy bear the smallest? No. <gasps> Baby bear. Baby bear is the smallest bear. I'm going to color his fur brown. You can color it whatever color you would like. Maybe your baby bear is purple, or red, or rainbow colored. I love using all sorts of different colors to make my art. All right, here is my baby bear. Next, I'm going to color mommy bear. I think mommy bear is my favorite in the whole Goldilocks story. She seems so nice. I love her. I love my mommy too. I'm sure you love your mommy. Let's see. I'm going to give Goldilocks, or I'm going to give Mama Bear a purple dress. What color are you going to make Mama Bear's dress? My last one to color is Daddy Bear. I think I will color him brown too because I would like all my bears to have brown fur. But you can use all sorts of colors. Maybe your bears are rainbow bears. That would be so cool. And the last, I'm going to color his necktie red. Just like that. Whoa, good job. Now, you can either use your glue sticks to put some glue on the back of your paper and glue on your popsicle sticks just like this. You could also use some tape. You can put your popsicle stick down on the back of your paper like this and tape it. Very good. Okay, finish up your puppets and then we'll tell a story together. Hi, Bluebirds. Now that we've made our puppets, you can use them to tell the story with me. We have Goldilocks, Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear. You can use your puppets to tell the story with me. You can draw a house if you'd like or you can just follow along with the video. Our story starts with Goldilocks walking through the woods. She got lost and then she found the cutest little house so she decided to go inside. Goldilocks was so hungry. So she found three bowls of porridge. She tried the first one and said, oh, too hot. Can I hear you say too hot? Good job. She tried the second one, Ooh, too cold. Can I hear you say too cold? Great job. Finally, she tried the last one, ah, just right. Can I hear you say just right? Great job. Next, Goldilocks was tired. She wanted to sit down. She found three chairs. She tried the first chair and sat down, but oh, that chair was too hard. Can I hear you say too hard? Good job. She tried the next chair, but oh, too soft. Can I hear you say, too soft? Good job. Finally, she tried the very last chair and, ah, just right. Can I hear you say, 
Mmm, just right. Great job. But when Goldilocks sat in the last chair, it broke. Oh no, Goldilocks was sad and scared that she broke the chair, so she went upstairs and found three beds. She lay down in the first bed and it was too hard. Can I hear you say too hard? Good job. Next, she tried the second bed, but it was too soft. Can you say too soft? Great job. Last, she tried the last bed and ah, it was just right. Can you say just right? Great job. The bed was so comfy that Goldilocks fell asleep and took a nap. As soon as Goldilocks fell asleep, guess who came home? Daddy Bear, Mommy Bear, and Baby Bear. They came in their door and said, oh no. Daddy Bear said, look, someone has tried a bite of my porridge. Mommy Bear said, oh, and someone has tried a bite of my porridge too. And Baby Bear cried. Someone's eaten my porridge all gone. Then the bears looked over at their chairs. Daddy Bear said, hmm, someone's been sitting in my chair. Mommy Bear said, hmm, someone's been sitting in my chair too. And Baby Bear cried, someone sat in my chair and broke it. The bears wondered who could be doing all of these things in their house, so they went upstairs. Daddy Bear looked at his bed and said, oh, someone has laid down in my bed. Mommy Bear looked at her bed and said, someone has laid down in my bed too. And Baby Bear said, look, someone is in my bed and she is still sleeping. At this point, Goldilocks woke up, looked around, saw the three bears, and got so scared. She said, oh no! She ran, 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 ran away safe back home. And the bears and Goldilocks live happily ever after. Wow, great job using your puppets to help me tell the story. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hi, Bluebirds. Now that we've made our puppets, you can use them to tell the story with me. We have Goldilocks, Papa Bear, whoops, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. You can use your puppets to tell the story with me. You can draw a house if you'd like, or you can just follow along with the video. Our story starts with Goldilocks walking through the woods. She got lost, and then she found the cutest little house, so she decided to go inside. Goldilocks was so hungry, so she found three bowls of porridge. She tried the first one and said, oh, too hot. Can I hear you say too hot? Good job. She tried the second one, Ooh, too cold. Can I hear you say too cold? Great job. Finally, she tried the last one. Ah, just right. Can I hear you say just right? Great job. Next, Goldilocks was tired. She wanted to sit down. She found three chairs. She tried the first chair and sat down, but oh, that chair was too hard. Can I hear you say too hard? Good job. She tried the next chair, but, ooh, too soft. Can I hear you say, too soft? Good job. Finally, she tried the very last chair and, ah, just right. Can I hear you say, hmm, just right? Great job. But when Goldilocks sat in the last chair, it broke, oh no! Goldilocks was sad and scared that she broke the chair, so she went upstairs and found 
three beds. She lay down in the first bed and it was too hard. Can I hear you say too hard? Good job. Next, she tried the second bed, but it was too soft. Can you say too soft? Great job. Last, she tried the last bed and ah, uh, it was just right. Can you say just right? Great job. The bed was so comfy that Goldilocks fell asleep and took a nap. As soon as Goldilocks fell asleep, guess who came home? Daddy Bear, Mommy Bear, and Baby Bear. They came in their door and said, oh no. Daddy Bear said, look, someone has tried a bite of my porridge. Mommy Bear said, oh, and someone has tried a bite of my porridge too. And Baby Bear cried. Someone's eaten my porridge all gone. Then the bears looked over at their chairs. Daddy Bear said, hmm, someone's been sitting in my chair. Mommy Bear said, hmm, someone's been sitting in my chair too. And Baby Bear cried, someone sat in my chair and broke it. The bears wondered who could be doing all of these things in their house, so they went upstairs. Daddy Bear looked at his bed and said, oh, someone has laid down in my bed. Mommy Bear looked at her bed and said, someone has laid down in my bed too. And Baby Bear said, look, Someone is in my bed and she is still sleeping. At this point, Goldilocks woke up, looked around, saw the three bears and got so scared. She said, oh no! She ran, 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 ran away safe back home. And the bears and Goldilocks live happily ever after. Wow, great job using your puppets to help me tell the story. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.